it's time for Dutch Oven Cooking with C-Dub. Here's your host, C.W. Butch Welch. What we're doing today, we're going to do a prime rib. And this is between six and seven pounds and it's boneless. And, uh, you know, it, when, I, when I go out to eat, you know, I just can't resist. Prime rib is one of my favorite and a Dutch oven does it even better. When I first started doing this dish, I would make it, uh, I'd put a wire rack and just set it on the bottom of my Dutch uh, just to keep that meat elevated. And I've since changed and done something different. And uh, I just lay my meat, whether it's a prime rib or a bis brisket or even a big pot roast, I lay it down in that Dutch oven on a, a bed of onions. And this gives me a little cooking liquid. It gives me some added flavor. And our onions are, uh, these are brand new crop, uh, hat trick, Washington super sweet onions. So the way we're going to prepare this today, what I like to do is uh, I like to always rub my meat with oil. I kind of had that roast patted dry. If I can get this open with my slick hands, we can. We're just going to go along and let the wind help us spread out our uh, hat trick uh, steak rub. There's our roast, and we're going to set it in here on our bed of onions, and our charcoal's real close. One of the things we want to do with this, the slower you cook it, the better it's going to be. And we've got all day to cook this, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to just put it in there in our Dutch oven, in our Lodge Deep 14. There is absolutely no cooking liquid in here. We're going to get some liquid out of our onions as well as the flavor. We're going to go over here and dump our charcoal out. Now we're going to start out with, uh, oh, probably eight or ten on the bottom, and we just want to get this oven warm, and we're going to slow cook it, and then we're going to have to come back two or three times and add charcoal to this uh, to, to cook it slow. So we're not really in a great big hurry on this, so we're just going to set our old oven over here on our cooking table our patio table and we're gonna think we've got enough fire in here oh yeah we've got plenty of good coals and all we're gonna do to start on the bottom is about eight to ten here well if I can grab them with my tongs and uh, you know this oven weighs about 28 pounds so it's gonna take uh, a little bit of time just to get this oven up to cooking temperature and uh, and start cooking and we want to do it slow so what we're gonna do we'll set that right on there and we're gonna come around the top with our briquettes and we're not gonna really bunch those up we're to start out we just want to go low and slow and uh, just slow cook that as long as we can. I know of restaurants that actually will cook theirs for, you know, uh, many hours longer than we're going to. So uh, we're just going to get this started and we'll come back. We get about an hour's cooking time out of our charcoal briquettes. And uh, so about every 50 minutes we're going to be, this afternoon, we're going to be adding more charcoal. So uh, I just want a couple more in the top and come on back and we'll do our vegetables to go with our prime rib dinner. 